after Seamus Heaney's death, um, I spent some time trying to write uh, an elegy for him. And uh, th this poem is called Towards an Elegy, but in fact it's more about the difficulties of writing elegy and the ways in which elegy doesn't in fact reflect fully uh, you know, the lives of the person who is being uh, elegized. Towards an elegy. If I should write your elegy, it would be when December light darkened the windows. Watching light fall on the black rocks in the bay, the disused lighthouse where you lived, the green headland where no ship ever foundered, would be a mode of getting used to your death. I've been assembling you from notes, your love of the natural world, your tastes in music, that line from Dover Beach where a light gleams on the French coast and is gone. I smile to think of you, a serious man, debating how, to, how best to live. Should you retreat into your lighthouse and bar the door, or throw the door open from time to time, a gregarious recluse? How could I catch the way your small talk turned in passing into something large? Once, meeting me on the stairs, you remarked, All laughter is sycophantic. I didn't laugh for days after that. It would be a tough assignment, friend, to produce a life impression neither reduced nor diminished. May the dawn not find me here, still gazing out to sea, the tide swarming over the mud flats, the page still blank but for the first line perhaps, if I should write your elegy, and the last you gleamed and are gone. Finally I managed to write uh, an elegy for Heaney, with Seamus Heaney in mind, one a poet's death. On every continent the phones relay your name as elegy. The calendars make way across the hemispheres for your death day. Two at the graveside. We stand in a shy courtesy of loss. A friend has set out without us, as he must, on a long journey. No forwarding address. Three, visiting the grave. We visit your grave on weekdays, you who dressed the ordinary weekday in its Sunday best, and the weekday heart of Sunday taking its rest. That's one of those poems where you disappear up your own ass. <laughs> but that, that was published in the New Yorker as well, that one. But there's there's something flawed in the logic of it, you know. I, I've been trying to get my head around it myself, you know what I mean? It's a, I think I've made sense of it again, but I'm not sure. And Muldoon obviously had made sense of it or he wouldn't have accepted it. 